Hi, this is Matthew Dodario from Shadow Hunters. I'm here at Tumblr to answer your answer time questions. Let's do this. I would never take anything from Shadow Hunters set studio. I would never do that. That would be ridiculous and that would be theft and I would never stoop that low. But if I were to, I wouldn't tell you about it. What was it like? Here's a, here's a question. I know you all saw this trailer for the dancing, but you don't know. You don't know if that's real. You don't know what, what, what any of this is real. You have no idea. So how do you even know that's real, that's really done? And especially what they can do now with special effects, you have no clue if that's real. And if I did do a dancing scene, I would have loved it. It would be fantastic, because it's thrilling. And because it's a new thing to learn, because I don't dance that often, except for every week. No, no, I, I don't, no. He wouldn't, so he wouldn't do that. He wouldn't, what would be the point? He's not, he's, he's not gonna be a mundane. And if he was, he would do everything to not be a mundane, or maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he's, oh, mundane life sounds great. You don't gotta do all this stuff. And also, what's angel blood really, anyway? You know, what? You know, it's not working out so great for everybody else. It's, it's not really the best thing in the world, so maybe, Maybe being a mundane and actually, you know, I changed my answer completely. I'd love, he'd love it. He would do, he would do it all day. He'd go get a slice of pizza. He'd go to a batting cage, because that's pretty neat. And uh, he'd uh, ride the subway. And um, maybe he'd go get a drink. No one on the set is funny. They're all, uh, they're bores, and uh, I don't think I've ever heard a joke from any of them. It's like working with sand. I like when Alec gets a little bit sassy with people, and I, I wish we had more opportunities to do that, but you know, things got pretty serious pretty quick. But uh, I like, uh, did, is, I don't remember if it actually ended up happening. Did it happen where um, I just, I, I kept, Alec kept pretending that it, or not remembering who Simon was? Those scenes, I like that. I was like, who? Or like, who are you? Or like, nice to meet you? I think we, we played with that a little bit. Tell me all the examples of me insulting Simon to his face. And I think there's more coming. I would like someone to post that in the montage. I don't have any wishes because it's it happens, things happen, and uh, we did it already. So I don't have any wishes. Uh, I can't wish for something that's already taken place uh, and is set in stone. But there's some things that I wish that come true, and I'm sure you guys are gonna like it too. So. Oh, get out of here. Get, go, just get, get, get on, get on out. This is not working out. This is, it's scary. There's uh, stuff happening. People are, people are dying. Uh, there's, there's demons, there's monsters. There's now there's, there's, there's wraiths flying around. Uh, things don't look so hot. Things are a mess. It's all very, very high energy and lots of emotion being thrown out at the same time. So they're dealing with family issues and personal issues and saving the world all at the same time. And it's been, you know, over a few months this is not a good life. Your stress is, is terrible. I, I'm certain you can live a more stress-free life. Just move to the Mediterranean. Yeah, that's for all of them. What's my favorite candle scent? You know, I like, I like things that smell like wood, 
Uh, there's, uh, I got some pine stuff going right now. But then I burn it and my mom yells at me. She doesn't like when there's the smell, the artificial smell of the candles. So I'm not allowed to have candles on. Sometimes I feel bad about it. You don't want the scent to be overpowering, but at the same time, you want it to be, you want it to be something you smell, so you're not just burning the candle for no reason. And then there's also sm uh, some that smell very floral, but then they start to get in your nose and you sneeze a lot. And I don't think Alec likes any of that. You know, he doesn't want to be sneezing all the time. He's got work to do. And, and uh, he's got a fireplace, so he doesn't really need a, a scent. Uh, his room smells like burning wood. Uh, this, is a, this is a question that requires a tremendous amount of thought. And if somebody wants, they can, uh, they can conduct a test. You just go find Alec and you ask him a bunch of uh, questions related to the smells of, uh, of candles. Best of luck. Ah, oh, well, yes, I have. I've broken, I've broken some bones over the years. Um, quite often, I've broken basically all my fingers because when you play sports, you eventually you break your fingers. And if you're a clumsy idiot, you, you break your fingers. And you don't have to go to the doctor for a broken finger unless it's got some other involvement because really just, just keep an eye on it and hopefully it'll work out. And if you have a lifelong prolonged injury that nags you for the rest of your life, you only have yourself to blame because you didn't go to the doctor. So go to the doctor. That's a tough question because there's a lot of them, but it's it's hard to sort of mash, uh, pick one out. I think a lot of a lot of, there are a lot of episodes when we're all together and we get into laughing fits. I've always liked those. Cows are doing great. Uh, they're mooing, walking around eating grass, uh, eating feed. I like that. Uh, playing in the sun. Maybe playing in the snow a little bit, uh, dancing around, sitting next to each other, being cute, doing the, doing cow stuff. A western, it would be wild, crazy. I'd uh, totally be the bad guy, and uh, I'd have like a really sinister-looking horse. You'd get, uh, oh man, you get Isaiah and Harry as a duo riding a, a pair of matching horses also and they have like matching outfits and, and they're kind of tough and they're, they're kind of, you know, they're sexy. They come into town and do, and do sexy cowboy stuff. Uh, oh, I would put M and Alberto together as, as some kind of, oh, like a bad, a bad guy stealing Robin Banks. Um, and maybe there's like a whole old western style saloon scene. Oh, it'd be great. I want to watch that. I didn't really create a narrative. I just said things, but give me some time. I think we're all very excited. There's a lot of good projects coming out. There's a lot of TV, a lot of movies being made. There's a lot of platforms that things go on. So we have a lot of opportunities and we're very excited. I think, uh, you know, you gotta look at, you gotta watch Isaiah and It Too. You gotta see that, it's gonna be scary. And I think it's gonna be a tremendous performance. We got Cat and Arrow. Harry's, uh, Harry just, oh man, Harry's got a lot of stuff going on. You're gonna see a lot of, a lot of things going on there. Um, and we'll see, we'll see what everyone else does. There's gonna be some good stuff. Look forward to it. There's a lot of energy put into seeing how people reacted to Alec in particular. And obviously the books existed already so that there, there was something, there was a history there. And then as we went along filming, the goal was to always Keep track of how people were reacting, making sure that what we were doing was honest, was real, and at the same time, making Alex somewhat unique or interesting, and not playing a trope or not playing something too simple. And I think we did a good job of that. And obviously, you know, it's not all it's not all easy for him because it is it's a dramatic show. Things go south quite often, 
But again, I, I think uh, I think I'm very happy with how we we did this whole trajectory over three seasons, and it, it ends quite nicely. How would I explain the series to a five-year-old? All right. Uh, <laughs> Okay, initially I could say, season one, this is a show you can watch, I don't have to explain it to you. But afterwards, the show got a little bit, a little bit scary. And season three is really scary, there's some really scary stuff in there. So I think I would explain it as, this is a show you can watch when you're older. But it's about demons, and monsters, and uh, things that are gonna terrify you every night as you fall asleep that is going to keep your parents awake because you're going to be awake and you're never going to really recover. So, yeah, five years. You can start when you're 10. No, they asked me this. They asked that we asked about nicknames and, and we never got nicknames for everybody because there's enough names being thrown around and, and people yell at me all the time. It's like you're on set and you, you call someone, you're like, hey, Jace, or, or, or hey, Clary, but they're not, they're, they're all, they're cat, but who cares really? I mean, some people seem to care. I don't care. People call me Matt. They call me Alec. They call me Alex. They call me Alexander. They call me Lightwood. So there's all these different names. There's enough, you know, too many names going on. We need less names. Too many names. So, Alec has changed a lot, obviously, since season one, and impressively so. I was concerned that Alec wouldn't grow up and open up and manage to become the emotionally capable and available individual that he is now. But luckily, thanks to Magnus and a very supportive group of friends and, and co-workers and family members, he's obviously doing quite well and we're gonna see a lot more of that as season three comes to a close. Well, this is a uh, interesting, morbid question. If I could have my ashes from my cremation, which I guess, if, as long as we're on the topic, it's inevitable, right? That's what's gotta happen. You're gonna eventually, you're gonna go, you're done, and then you're gonna be turned into a vinyl record because that is the standard procedure nowadays. All right, you're getting turned into something else. Everybody's getting turned into stuff afterwards. And that seems kind of fun. And I think the question was about what song or what album I'd like, but honestly, I don't have a good answer for you. I, I, I guess I'd just like, what's that, the New Year's song, Odd Long Zine, just on repeat, over and over, just, there's 10 different versions of it. That's what I want. I like that song, I like New Year's, that's what I want. I don't, and then, I don't really understand the physics of the ashes or the chemistry involved in that, but if it works, it works. You can have it, so you can have it. Where would they go? Well, they can go anywhere, right? So can they take a trip to somewhere like really, what, can they go to the moon? How, what is the portal distance? Is there some sort of a, is there something involved with physics here? Is there like a math equation that works for physics, for the, for the, for the, uh, for the portals? I don't know. But if it's limited to earth, I think they're gonna, they're gonna do a lot of beach vacations. They'll do some, you know, cultural vacations, but honestly, wine, bread, uh, food, you know, just hop around, city to city, baby. Going everywhere. Oh, and they check out some animals. Maybe get down to Australia, see what's going on down there. I wanna go to the Galapagos, so maybe Alec does too. Maybe, we'll see. Thank you all for your very thoughtful questions, Tumblr. It was actually kind of high effort questions. And I feel like I was very serious, and I apologize for that. But thank you all, Tumblr. I had a great time doing Answer Time.